Hey you guys, we're back with another installment of Round C. Today we've realized we got something a little... Well, this isn't anything you guys haven't seen if you've been watching my channel. This is a TC4 and this is my SCX10. Beautiful, beautiful truck. Ooh, tires are a little bit on the sticky side too. So, my TC4, a little update with the TC4. It is, you see, the wing is coming off. So I might just have you buy a new body and just, yeah, this wing is done. This wing is cracked so badly. And if you see that nice gigantic size tail going through it. Okay, uh, now the epoxy that I use, let me make an update, uh, don't, don't use epoxy. Epoxy is a very strong glue, don't don't get me wrong, it, it is, but the problem is when it dries up, it's hard. So as you know, when 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 like these in these Lexcan bodies, well they're they're not hard, they're soft, you know, they're flexible. They they're really just to you know get some protection to the chassis. Which in this case it did not happen. Now, this is what happened to the TC4. And I actually learned this is going to be quite a expensive repair. This this right here is a twenty-four dollar repair, and I already priced the parts unless I could find somewhere where I could get the parts for pretty cheap. So this is what happened with this thing. Oh, this thing isn't completely broke. This little. Uh, cat thing. This this is what happened. I was at St. Joe's in the parking lot and a rock or something got stuck in the steering column. Uh, this is why this car is really bad for anywhere that has rocks because if a rock gets up in there it'll, it, it doesn't take that big of a rock to mess up the steering column and keep it from moving. So what happened What happened right here is somehow it must have hit something and this piece just, this plastic piece just gave up. Like you could even see the bearing so I'm glad I don't have to get a new bearing put in. But I'm going to grease the bearings up when I actually do get this thing fixed. And like I said this is a, this is a repair that's going to cost at least $24 because I already looked at the price of the parts online. I'm going ahead and get a new cap. This piece is right, right, right here. That's going to get need, need to get replaced. But we're not really talking about that today. But I just want to let y'all know if y'all haven't seen the TC4, that this is exactly why. Because I was out there testing it, testing the parts out, see how good they're they're doing, and the thing just broke. But what we are going to be doing with this is we're going to be taking this spur gear on off spur gear right here taking that off and we are going to be replacing it well, well no we're going we're not going to be replacing this one but we're going to take be taking this one and we're going to put, put it on the SCX10 so let me put the SCX10 in the back now I'm I'm just going to skip through this cuz it really doesn't take that much knowledge to take this apart or particularly any RC vehicles if you have them so I'm just going to skip to the next stage or the next stage that is most relevant to the swapping of the spare gear. So I'll see you guys when I'm done. Further along through the swap, here is the spur gear for the TC4. Now I'm hoping this is going to fit onto the SCX10. If not, oh, well, I'm just going to have to put everything back together. So, uh, the only part that I'm thinking I'm going to have trouble with is this big hole right here. I wasn't really taking that into consideration, but this is a smaller gear, so, and from what I read on the instruction manuals, because, uh, my TC4 went out, and... 
I said it's ten still works, but I was wondering if I could make it go faster if I got a smaller spur gear. So that's what we're doing right now. You're seeing Crocky Bot, because what I'm thinking about doing is just taking that spur gear, leaving it on the SCX10, and then buying a new one for the TC4 while I get around to buying its parts, which is going to be an expensive fix, so. Uh, yeah. Well, well, not expensive, but, you know, it's going to be more money than what I have on me currently. So we shall be back with the rest of this video when I get the spur gear off the SCX10. Okay, we're at the part where I am getting ready to take this spur gear off. And the SCX10. So, uh, oh, you're also going to need one of these guys. You know all you're going to need him is because you got to loosen up that slipper clutch. Uh, luckily, mine is it on there too tight. Make sure I don't drop anything. Keep everything in order. Okay, move all that to the side. Long size, full. Now, this is the right size. Okay, let me zoom in on the table. And we'll take a turn, loosen up each one. Uh, be careful with the screws because you do have these little uh, little, little washer thingies on. See if you can focus on that. Yeah, those little washer things. So you do not want to lose those. I'm going to take these out, carefully put them aside. Let's hand loose. And it really doesn't matter what hole they come from, they all going back in the same spot. Okay, now take the screws out. And here's the two spur gears. Okay, let me zoom this out a little bit. Uh, I can show you two spur gears now. This one fits inside. The TC4 spur gear fits inside very comfortably. And you see they do kind of have a similar tooth pattern. Get on screen correctly. Alrighty then. Now. Any problem is can we match the holes up? And yes, I think we can match the holes up, maybe. I want to do this off camera. Oh. Yes, what do you know? Got a great matchup. This is the TCU4. And all three holes are ready so now I'm just going to reinstall the hardware now I'm going to skip forward a little bit faster on this one okay now I got the spur gear on probably wondering why am I putting a such a small spur gear on a SCX10 now the SCX10 comes with a A7 tooth spur gear at 42, 42 pitch I mean 48. 48. Now, I forgot what's the spur gear on the TC4? Uh, yeah. 
think I think we're we're going to a seventy six spare gear from eighty seven if I'm correct. The instruction manual right here. Oh no, seventy two. We're going to a seventy two tooth spare gear. Let me let me check the other little CC four comes with two manuals. Well, actually, yeah, one more manual is the actual how you put it together. One is just the options parts. And I'm in the options parts right now, and it is matching that does come with a. Let's see, 39.22. Yep, 72. Now, if you notice, there was a big gap in between. Here, I mean, you could literally probably stick the TC4 shaft in here. Well, you can't get in there, but you can almost get some of my tools in there, too. So it's, it's, it's a big gap. It's a pretty sizable gap there. So what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up these two screws, and we're going to move the motor inward. Hopefully, this is going to work. This is going, and I'm doing this for one of two reasons. One, this motor, it, it hangs too far out. One of the problems is this thing keeps smacking the frame. So, well, not, not no, not, well, it does kind of hit, it's a little closer to the frame than what I would like for it to be. And the uh, links. The front links actually end up coming in contact with it. The upper front link, this one right here that you see my finger next to. I was in the way of the light. Y'all can see that. And you can definitely see it now. That guy right there, he's hitting the motor. So that's another reason I'm doing it. And the other reason I'm doing it is because I want to have more speed. And since this thing has not even begun to get hot, this motor runs cool every time I run it. It runs for a good, for the, the longest run time I got of it was four hours, a couple of minutes. And that was even going up and down on hills. That was just nothing but doing hills. That's how long it lasted. So let's take this and uh, first let's get the race size bit. I think it's this one. Okay, I want you to have it on camera. I ride myself out. Okay, so now we're going to move. So we're going to loosen up these two bolts. Hopefully it's going to allow me to move this in. Oh, and another part I had is that uh, I'm going to stay. Right I'm going to get nothing but Trax's grub screws because this thing, this thing won't come off. So this thing is stuck to this motor until I decide to drill that off. I can drill off, but I really don't feel like bothering it. Oh no, we got a problem. We have ourselves a problem. Okay, so the problem is this thing is going to have to come off. This uh, pinion gear is going to have to come off one way or another. So I probably might have to head to my hobby shop. I'm going to drill that out. And this is another reason why I didn't celebrate. So actually, this is all for. I want to make this a two part video. So this is the end of this video right here. Uh, when I get back, I will have this thing fully done with a new pinion. I am I probably might just take the TC4 pinion and stick it on here. Because the TC4 pinion is a 23. So I probably had the same gear ratio that I did before. Just on a 55 turn motor with a you know different with an all-wheel drive set I mean a complete all-wheel drive set with 
diff locks, not open. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing this done. So uh, let me get to work. See you guys later. Oh, remember, click like and that subscribe button. And uh, leave some comments down below.